Sleaze, scandal, smear, all words synonymous with the McBride affair just months ago. He was Gordon Brown's top man, a spin doctor trying to manipulate the news agenda. He went accused of sending email slurs against opposition ministers. Now it's the Tories' turn. Cameron's top communication man in very hot water indeed, although you wouldn't think it. As the director of communications, he does an excellent job for the Conservative Party and behaves properly and in an upright way in everything that he does. Brown wants some answers. The chairman of the Select Committee on Culture and Arts, who's a Conservative, who was investigating this for, for some time, has said that there are serious questions to be answered. I think he wants to hold a special hearing to look at these questions, and I think that's what it is. Questions need to be answered. Andy Coulson used to be the editor of the News of the World. He resigned in 2007 over a telephone hacking scandal he says he had no idea about. Royal editor Clive Goodman and private investigator Glenn Mulcair were given four- and six-month sentences, respectively, over tapping into Royal Aid's phones. Now it's emerged more News International staff may have been using the same criminal techniques to secure scoops. It's alleged the newspaper paid up to £1 million in out-of-court settlements to keep some of the victims quiet. Another newspaper editor claims Colson must have known. There is no question that this kind of technique, this kind of use of private investigators, is used by a lot of newspapers, particularly the tabloids. They're not only the tabloids, and I think there was a sense that this was the, uh, the untold story of Fleet Street, and that too much of Fleet Street, but particularly the news of the world, had become dependent on it. And uh, it did involve potentially illegal activity, and journalism should not be involved in that. Now victims and The Guardian are calling for Colson's head. Cameron's stand has to be firm. Any U-turn over Colson could be seen as weak. The police are coming into flak too. Alleged victims of the hacking scandal want to know why they didn't investigate the masses of evidence they allegedly had. It, it gives grave doubts over, obviously, the way that the Metropolitan Police apparently were very much aware of these activities but didn't inform the people whose phones were being tapped or do anything about it. New Met Commissioner Sir Paul Stevenson's now taking action. An intriguing tale, the type of thing journalists love to talk and write about. All eyes now on the police and Tories to see exactly how they handle it. One foot wrong for both could result in a PR nightmare.